In this video, I'm going to modify the boot camp for creating a Windows USB installer um, by official Apple um, for Windows. So, uh, I'm recording this video from a, a 2009 MacBook Pro. Um, so, the only official option is installing Windows 7 on it uh, because the only Windows 7 drivers and firmwares are available for this product. Uh, Apple will not officially support this this Mac for Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and also Windows 11. Because, um, I don't know, but it's not supported. But the hardware is capable by Microsoft um, requirements. So, it has 2.53 GHz Core to do with 8 gigs of RAM installed, uh, and it has a NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics in um, with 256 megs of VRAM. Now, and also we have a storage of 500 gigabyte solid state drive, so it's fully capable. But Apple didn't allow us to install, but not with all. But the store didn't end on here. Um, we also didn't feature a creating an installer feature on this Mac yet so it's available on I think it's 2012 or later will be officially supported by creating a USB installer by, via bootcamp so um, first you will need to go to launchpad and go to others and find the bootcamp and Go to continue, and as you can see, there is only two options <coughs> to use Bootcamp. Um, the first option says the down mm, downloading the latest so Windows support software for Apple. Uh, the support software is uh, a control center mm, are designed for Mac uh, if you are running a Windows or which, which version is whatever on your Mac. Um, you can use the Windows support software for Macs to, um, you know, controlling your Mac settings. Uh, if you do that, uh, it's an official way to use Windows on your Mac. But if you don't, um, you will cause some problems like uh, maybe the sound drivers, Wi-Fi card, Ethernet, or any other drivers will not work automatically especially the discrete graphics processor or any other graphics and the second option is install or remove the windows uh, it says only we can remove windows 7 but i will show you how to install uh, windows 8 windows 8.1 windows. i will not going to show windows 8 8 uh, 8.1 maybe but I'm going to show you how to run a Windows 10 on an unsupported Mac. Uh, as you can see, I have two drives, but one drive I I got a Windows 10 running on it. It's fully working. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we want to get uh, create a USB installer option to here. So you have to you're gonna have to do this. Uh, Right now, uh, op opening the Macintosh SSD uh, or Macintosh HD and drive. Good, good applications. Scroll down to utilities and just copy the Bootcamp Assistant by right click and paste it to the desktop. Um, now I'm going to create a two um, Bootcamp because mm, one of it is a genuine normal boot camp but the other one is I'm going to modify it so I'm going to modify it, this and yeah this is the original boot camp that I'm going to use later and I'm going to and modify this modified boot camp so right click on it and click show package contents go to contents and find the info.plist file 
right click and open it with text edit and I'm going to change this uh, 2015 text to 2022 because we are in 2022 so I I want to show uh, El, El Capitan's brand new <laughs> okay um, this is optional uh, forget that um, scroll down to the P list and now find and search for this key pre USB boot support models go to key pre USB boot and delete the pre so go to the file and just save it click save anyway it's frozen for some reason it didn't happen before oh yeah it, it worked so let's compare uh, the modified bootcamp with the genuine so this is the original and this is the modified yeah yep as you can see there is a creative window 7 install disk option um, in the genuine bootcam we don't have this option in there and you can see it's this one is modified and the other one is the real original bootcam that uh, came with this Mac but why it asks every time opening it yeah <coughs> so you can create a Windows USB installer disk via bootcamp assistant on 2011 or older Macs that are compatible with Windows 10 or Windows 11 except for Windows 8 and yeah um, I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel see you later in the next video